Hi, this is King of Review. In this problem, we're asked to find negative a plus 4b. We're told that a is this matrix here and b is this matrix. What is a matrix? A matrix is a rectangular arrangement of numbers in rows and columns. Row by column is how you name the matrix, and this is also its dimensions. So let's look at the matrix in letter D here. We see that this matrix has two columns, one, two, two columns, and it has two rows, one, two, two rows. So when we name a matrix, we name it as a row by column. In this case, we have a two by two matrix because there are two rows and two columns. We name it this way, and the two by two also gives information about the dimensions of the matrix. So here, we're looking for negative A plus 4B. Let's write this out. We have negative, and then matrix A, which is six and two in the first row, and three and zero in the second row, plus four times B, so four times matrix B. Matrix B is zero and one in the first row, and negative one and two in the second row. So the first thing we need to keep in mind here is that when we're working with matrices, a real number is called a scalar. To multiply a matrix by a scalar, you multiply each entry in the matrix by the scalar. This is called scalar multiplication. So in this case, for negative A, this is really a negative one out in front. So we're going to multiply this negative one by each entry within the matrix. Each of these numbers within the matrix is called an entry. And because we have this negative one scalar out in front, we're going to multiply each entry by negative one. And the same goes for 4B. We're going to multiply this scalar of 4 by each of these entries within matrix B. So let's set this up. This is equal to negative 1 times 6, negative 1 times 2, negative 1 times 3, and negative one times zero. So this represents negative A, or negative one times matrix A, and we're adding this to four B, so four times matrix B. So we're multiplying each of these entries within matrix B by the scalar, which is four. So four times zero, four times one, four times negative one, and four times two. So let's work this math out. Negative one times six is negative six. Negative one times two is negative two. Negative one times three is negative three. And negative one times zero is zero. So this is negative A, which is negative one times matrix A. And we're adding this to four B. So this is, 4 times 0 is 0, 4 times 1 is 4, 4 times negative 1 is negative 4, and 4 times 2 is 8. So here we are adding two matrices together. Now to add two matrices together, or if you were to subtract, so to add or subtract matrices, you must subtract or add corresponding entries. You can only add or subtract matrices with the same dimensions. So this first matrix here, this is a two by two because it has two rows and two columns. And the second matrix here is a two by two. Now because these are the same dimensions, it's okay to go ahead and add these matrices together. Now when we add, we must add corresponding entries. So what does that mean? Well, 
it means to add entries that are in the same position. So this upper left position, which is row one, column one here, we need to make sure we're adding this number to the same position on the second matrix, which is right here. And for negative two, we need to make sure we're adding that to the entry in its same position, which is the upper right, which is four over here in this matrix. So be sure to look out for this, the corresponding entries. So this would be negative six plus zero, negative two plus four, negative three plus a negative four, and zero plus eight. And when we work this out, negative six plus zero is negative six, negative two plus four is two, negative three plus a negative four is negative seven, and zero plus eight is eight. So this is our final answer here, and this is letter C. Thanks for watching.